Ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo is one of the most prolific gaming companies in the world, with some of the most popular IPs on the planet. They were founded all the way back in the late 1800s. For a company this old, there are sure to be some strange and weird facts in history, from the video games to the Yakuza. It really does get interesting. In this video, I will break down 15 of the most unbelievable facts about Nintendo. Let's get started. Nintendo is my favorite company on this entire planet. They have brought me decades of joy and entertainment. I mean the company is legit over 100 years old. It's time to dive deep and find out the strange and weird facts about Nintendo. Before we get started, make sure you hit a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram so we can keep this community growing. Now let's get right into it. So one of the coolest and weirdest facts about Nintendo has to do with the Nintendo Wii. The Nintendo Wii became popular because of the motion controls. It felt like a leap forward in the gaming world. You would use the controllers with the sensor bar and it would pick up what you're trying to do. But what if your sensor bar is broken? Well, the first fact I have for you is that you can use candles as a sensor bar. That is correct. Going back as far back as the beginning of YouTube, you can find people with no sensor bar just lighting a couple of candles and pointing the controller at the candles and it will pick up the same as the sensor bar. And this is probably one of the strangest gaming facts that I know. In 1966, a toy called the Ultra Hand was created by Gunpei Yokoi. Essentially, it was a toy that could extend and pick up stuff. It was a commercial success for Nintendo, selling over 1 million units. Fast forward to 2023 and the release of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We have an ability called Ultra Hand that allows you to grab objects. This is a callback to the Ultra Hand toy. Gunpei Yokoi also created the D-pad and developed a Game Boy. The GameCube is not actually a cube. I know, life is over as we know it. A cube is a three-dimensional shape comprised of six squares. The GameCube is actually a rectangular prism. The Nintendo game rectangular prism doesn't have the same ring though, so I can see why they went with the cube. Did you know the NES, or the Nintendo Entertainment System, was supported for 20 years? Arguably one of the most iconic video game consoles was supported by Nintendo all the way from 1983 to 2003. From what I could find out, they basically just stopped supporting it because they ran out of parts finally. Another crazy fact is the Nintendo DS was going to be called the City Boy. Basically, the story goes that Nintendo wanted to continue the success of the Game Boy name. We had the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance SP, and then we would have had the City Boy. Nintendo trademarked this name back in 2004. The DS was shown off that same year at E3. The console we know and love now came to be called the DS, which I believe is supposed to stand for dual screen. The DS is the second best selling gaming console of all time, so I guess everything turned out as it should be. One of my favorite facts about Nintendo is the name Nintendo actually means something. It gets its root from kanji characters, Nin, Ten, and Do, and translates to leave luck to heaven, which is actually beautiful and poetic in a way. One of the main topics surrounding Nintendo characters is who is Bowser Jr.'s mom? Well, the answer may shock you. This is a topic that has been speculated on quite a bit. In the video, Mario Miss was Mr. Miyamoto. Mario's creator, Shigeru Miyamoto, was asked various questions about his creation. One of those questions was who is Bowser Jr.'s mother, in which Miyamoto answered by pointing at himself. Yeah, it probably was not the answer you were expecting. Did you know that Nintendo used to own an American baseball team? The story was that the Seattle Mariners were at risk of moving to Florida and needed a new owner. After being passed on by Bill Gates and other prospects, the offer ended up in front of Nintendo, and the deal was eventually done. Nintendo even released a special edition Seattle Mariners Nintendo DS that could only be purchased at the stadium and was limited to 2,000 consoles. In 2016, Nintendo sold a majority of their shares. This topic alone could get a video done about it. The whole history of it happening is way more complicated than it sounds. Nintendo even tried to compete with LEGO at one point. In 1968, Nintendo created building blocks called the N and B blocks. The N and B blocks were more circular than LEGO block square design. Eventually, LEGO ended up suing Nintendo over the N and B blocks but the crazy thing is, Nintendo actually won the court case. Even though the blocks were pretty successful, they ended up being discontinued in the 70s. Time for a little bit of a raunchy fact. Nintendo opened love hotels in the 1960s. We have to remember that Nintendo has a whole 60 or 70 year history before entering the gaming industry. Before that, they were just a business trying to make money any way they could. In the 1960s, they entered the hotel industry. But not just any hotel, the love hotel industry. If you don't know what a love hotel is, well it's kind of what the name implies. Just a few years later, they would find success with the Ultra Hand toy and leave the hotel industry for good. So around every console release, 
Since probably the beginning of gaming consoles coming out, there's always weird and wacky contests in which you can win a video game console. For one unfortunate person, this turned out to be tragic. In 2007, a radio station in Sacramento launched a contest with the catchy title, Hold Your Pee for a Wee. The contest required listeners to drink as much water as possible without using the bathroom, but the whole thing ended tragically when 28-year-old Jennifer Strange died of water intoxication. Yeah, it definitely was not worth it. It seems like Nintendo was the first for a lot of things, and they were even the first video game company to have a product in space. In 1993, Russian cosmonaut, and forgive me for this pronunciation, Alexander Serebrov spent an astonishing 196 days in the Russian space station, managing to orbit the planet over 3,000 times. To have something to do during his downtime, he took a Game Boy with him and played Tetris. This is not a bad choice if we're being honest, a game you can play over and over. This ended up making Nintendo the first gaming company to have their products leave the planet. That's actually quite an accomplishment. Like, that's some serious bragging rights. Another fact that is strange and multi-leveled is Nintendo trademarked the phrase, it's on like Donkey Kong. Even if you're not a gamer, you probably have heard the phrase, it's on like Donkey Kong. Well, in 2010, for the release of Donkey Kong for the Nintendo Wii, Nintendo filed a trademark for the phrase to celebrate the release of the game. A side fact about all of this is it's believed that Ice Cube was the first person to make this a popular phrase in a song called Now I Gotta Wetcha, saying, it's on like Donkey Kong, you wanted that fast buck. Yeah, it gets pretty wacky. As kid-friendly and as fun as Nintendo is, they actually have ties with the Yakuza. The Mafia in Japan is known as a Yakuza, a criminal organization that dates back all the way to the 1600s. When Nintendo was first founded in 1889, one of the first products they made were small playing cards called Hanafuda cards. One of their first big customers was a Yakuza who were said to be big fans of the Hanafuda cards. Hey, I'm not here to judge, get your money how you can. Probably one of my favorite facts and bits of history about Nintendo is the Nintendo Power magazines. And the fact is, Nintendo used to have phone lines to help people beat games. Now if you need help in a game, you can just go online and find the answer immediately. But back in the day that wasn't the case. In 1989, Nintendo created their own magazine that would showcase games, tips, tricks, rumors, and more. They even would have a phone number you could call and ask for help if you were stuck in a game. All you had to do was call up the number, tell them what game you were playing, and where you were at, and they would walk you through whatever you needed to do over the phone. Unfortunately, the final Nintendo Power magazine was released in 2012. In total, there was 285 different issues. Nintendo is one of the most popular and iconic companies in the world currently, and you don't get this kind of notoriety without being experimental and making mistakes. So now I ask you, what is your favorite Nintendo fact? And which Nintendo facts did I miss? Down below, please start a conversation. I would love to hear back from you guys. And remember, if you enjoy gaming news, gaming stories, and Nintendo Switch content, then you're in the right place. So hit a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And down below is my link to Twitch. Come and hang out with the community. We're streaming all the time, just having a bunch of fun. So I would love to see you guys over there. But you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.